On a sunny day, the skies of America suddenly burst into flames. A massive solar storm, more powerful than anything humanity has ever experienced, slammed into our planet. This happened in 1859. Known as the Carrington Event, it was the most powerful geomagnetic storm in history. And if experts are to be believed, another one is inevitable. Could the sun destroy the Earth in 2025? In 1859, people didn't even know what was happening. All they saw was a strange, almost supernatural play of light. Intense colors that painted the sky in vivid reds, greens, and purples. This wasn't just any aurora. Miners in the American South were so mesmerized by the surreal explosion of color that they stopped working for a while. Some thought the second dawn had come. Others believed that the sky was on fire, heralding the end of the world. Cities were in panic as people raised their hands toward the sky in fear of divine vengeance. The technology of the time was not prepared for such an event. Telegraph wires flashed and split. Some were set on fire, disrupting communications in the city. Telegraph operators reported that the equipment worked as if it were their own. Despite the chaos, people soon found solace in the beauty of the storm. Families gathered, children were amazed, and couples embraced in the heavenly spectacle, their fear turning to awe. The storm raged for five days, from August 28th to September 2nd, 1859, before finally subsiding. This event was a historic reminder of how small humanity is in the face of the universe. British astronomer Richard Carrington observed a coronal mass ejection, CME, just before the storm. His observations later connected the dots between solar activity and Earth's geomagnetic phenomena. In science, the Carrington event now represents the ultimate limit of solar storms and a warning about what the sun is capable of. Nearly 200 years later, humanity has not experienced another storm of this magnitude. But scientists warn that the question isn't if such an event will happen again, but when. Modern solar storms are caused by sunspots and solar flares, which release huge amounts of energy. Coronal mass ejections launch streams of charged particles into space, often crashing into Earth. The planet's magnetic field usually protects us from harm, but a storm as powerful as a Carrington event could overwhelm our defenses. Our modern world depends largely on technology. Satellites facilitate communications, navigation, and weather forecasting. Energy networks support cities, industries, and essential services. Today, a Carrington-scale solar storm would wreak havoc, paralyze electronic systems, disrupt global communications, and plunge vast areas into darkness. Despite advances in solar observation technology, scientists are unable to accurately predict such storms. The dynamic nature of the sun makes it difficult to predict its behavior, leaving us vulnerable to sudden disruptions. Imminent threat as humanity moves forward, relying on technology, we ask ourselves, are we prepared for a storm like the one in 1859? Solar storms are natural phenomena, but their potential to devastate modern civilization cannot be ignored. The Carrington incident reminds us that despite our technological advances, we are still vulnerable to the vast and unpredictable forces of the universe. The next solar storm could change life as we know it. Are you ready? As 2025 approaches, scientists studying the sun are paying attention. Observatories like the Solar Dynamics Observatory and the Solar and Heliospheric Energy Observatory monitor the sun's surface and track sunspots and solar flares. Their mission is crucial, providing early warning of impending solar storms. But even with advanced technology, the time it takes for a coronal mass ejection to reach Earth after it is detected is extremely short 15 to 72 hours. That leaves little room for error or preparation. A sufficiently powerful solar storm could cause a cascade of disruptions to critical infrastructure, throwing the world into chaos. Modern consequences, unlike 1859, today's society is fully interconnected and digital. A Carrington-sized solar storm could power grid, transformers and substations could fail simultaneously, causing blackouts for weeks or months. Satellite disruption of GPS systems, communications networks, and weather monitoring satellites would paralyze transportation, logistics, and emergency response. Aviation. High-altitude flights over polar regions would be halted, 
stranding passengers and disrupting global travel. Banking and finance. The digital economy that relies on electronic transactions will be disrupted. Healthcare. Hospitals and medical systems that rely on electrical and communications networks will face serious challenges. In short, solar storms are not just natural occurrences. They can trigger a global humanitarian crisis. Threat mitigation efforts governments and organizations are beginning to take this threat seriously. Efforts include hardened infrastructure, upgrading the power grid to systems that can withstand geomagnetic storms, satellite protection, design satellites to better withstand radiation from solar storms, emergency protocols, develop response plans to minimize the impact of large-scale communications and power outages, public awareness campaigns, inform people of the potential impacts and how to prepare for long-term power outages. However, these efforts are in their early stages. Much of the world is not yet prepared for the scale of destruction a Carrington-type storm could bring. Wake up call. The Carrington event serves as both a historical curiosity and a dire warning. It is a reminder of the immense power of the sun and the vulnerability of our planet to its vagaries. If there is anything we have learned from past natural disasters, it is that preparation can mean the difference between survival and disaster. As the likelihood of a major solar storm increases, the question remains, are we ready for the next Carrington event? The answers so far are surprising. Humanity will soon be tested by the power of the universe. This test can only be overcome if we learn from history and act quickly. The film ends with a time-lapse shot of the sun setting, its golden light transforming into the vast, dark canvas of the night sky. The final caption appears, asterisk, the sun gives life, but it can also bring destruction. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, asterisk,